I am here with Mr. Kevin McGuire, uh, artist for some of my favorite comics of all time, uh, Justice League International, uh, better known as the Justice League, uh, all the, all the, uh, you know, the, the kind of the coda on the on the, the JLI that came out. Obviously, you've, you've j recently finished a run on the Metal Men. Um, and uh, what else are you working on right now, or do, do you have anything else you're working on right now? I am working for, on something right now. It's a monthly book for DC Comics, uh, but I can't tell you what it is. Oh no! Yeah. It's a secret. Yeah, the, you know, the marketing guys are like, you know, we have to make the announcement before, uh, you know, telling people at the conventions what it's going to be. Yeah. So, exactly. I think it comes out in April, uh, not April, uh, August, so. Awesome, well, I can't wait. Um, I kind of want to talk about, um, first of all, I want to yeah. talk about the Justice League in, in, in general. Um, exactly. When you got on that, when you got on that book, I know. Uh, you brought your sensibility and, 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 and the humor with... Obviously, with your expressions, with the way you way you can draw faces, um, how much of that was 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 you? How much of it was was it uh, given to Matea saying we want this, or or did they know your skill already and then just say run with it, this this uh, concept? Well, back when we started, uh, Giffen, Dematis, um, like a well, everybody in comics didn't know who the hell I was, so uh, there was no. Uh, um, uh, there wasn't. I, they, they, all right, let me go back. Okay. Um, okay. It, it, actually, back then it was uh, Andy Helfer was more the driving force behind it. He was the okay. guy who brought everybody together. Uh, it was kind of his, his vision uh, to do it that way, and um, you know we were all just sort of players to his little puppet master. Nice. Okay. Uh, then. You are allowed. Do you have Do you have an attachment to those characters that uh, that you worked on for so long? You know, so to, to Booster Gold and to uh, to Blue Beetle and, and everyone that was in that original JLI. Do you have a you know something that because you lived with them for so long? Do you have kind of an attachment to them? And uh, now that they, that they've kind of changed a lot, do you have any thoughts about that? You mean like shot in the head, that kind of thing? Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, because <laughs> that'll that'll change a man. Um, <laughs> that will change a man. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you do kind of uh, have a bit of a attachment to them because you're uh, it's almost like being an animator and you're kind of bringing these people to life and you're thinking about what are they thinking and how do they feel at this moment and stuff like that so you start to have a you know some sort of connection with them so I, it was uh, it was a frustrating time when they shot Beetle in the head and it was Max that did it I, that well, to talk about then I, I you know <coughs> pardon me I've always thought that <coughs> excuse me that the better known <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> He's about to ask a tough question, isn't he? I know. He? I, I, it, that, that's what I do yeah. anytime. I've always thought that the uh, that the better known as the Justice League and uh, formerly known as the Justice League, uh, what I just described Wait, better as better known as the Justice League. Uh, was it? No, no, no. It's formerly known as the Justice League, and I can't believe it's, I can't not, believe it's not the Justice yeah. League. Thank you, thank you. I always thought of those as as codas on on that that run that you know the the yeah. Bwa -ha -ha era. Yeah. Did uh, did you guys know ahead of time uh, when when working on those that that uh, and maybe I've got my timelines wrong what was going to happen to Beetle and that they were kind of letting you t uh, tell the, the end of those stories on your own? No, we were uh, we were uh, still working on the second miniseries uh, when they did the the uh, Maxwell Lord Blue Beetle thing. And in fact, the last panel of the last uh, issue was supposed to be Mary Marvel and Fire flying away from the strip mall. But because uh, I was so incensed with the whole shooting in the head thing that I made it a two panel shot of Max and Beetle laughing side by side <laughs> as sort of my, you know. Really? So they didn't my tell statement you? on no, no. In fact, Dan, I was in the DC office, and there was all, they don't tell you know they didn't tell me anything, and um, there was all the internet rumor that oh I think Blue Beetle's gonna die I think Blue Beetle's gonna die and I was up in the office and Dan DeDio puts his arm around me walks me over to his office and shows me the make ready of the issue he goes yes Blue Beetle dies and it's worse Max kills him and I'm like <laughs> ouch yeah yeah. Just, just rip out my heart right now. Well, you know, for me, I, I've said this before, but for me the frustrating thing was that they had it where they were saying that Max had been like a bad guy all along. And I'm like, wait, we've been like doing this character for like the last couple of years and he hasn't 
been a villain. As we, like every creative decision we were making with this guy was never with the thought that oh he's a villain. Yeah. You know he was like a you know he's like a Donald Trump type guy, and that's how we were always playing him. So it was kind of that's what kind of bugged me about it the most. If they had done an issue where like Max suddenly becomes evil, then that'd be all right. But but by saying he's been evil all along, kind of like denies everything we. Every creative decision we made about the character up to that point. Well, it, it, as a reader, it kind of, to me, kind of cheapens the times when he actually was, to him, heroic. Yeah. And and, and that kind of, that kind of uh, frustrated me. Um, I kind of wanted to talk to to you and, and just make a mention, really. Uh, the, the 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 second series uh, where where they go to where they go to hell and and guy. Uh, sees ice. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't have much of a question, but the fact, honestly, that that's one of the very first and one of the only times that a comic has made me tear up. Uh, your uh, your uh, art on that, those faces and and just the the silence of those panels, uh, amazing, amazing. So I don't, again, I don't have much of a question about that. Uh, but how do you? Uh, when when you're doing something where usually where where it's so emotional, I mean, and do you have a mirror next to your <laughs> to, no, no, to your table? I mean, no, no. Uh, you know, what, what what is your process with that? Uh, well, I've been doing acting since high school and improv comedy and stuff like that. So I'm kind of like just. You know, what are they feeling at that moment, and how is that reflecting? I mean, not only in the face, but in the body language. Okay. So it's it's it, it, you know it's like being an animator. It's like to me, it's like acting. So it's only I do it with a pencil. I do it with a pencil. Nice. Uh, well, I won't keep too uh, keep you much longer. I just wanted to, to say thanks uh, for coming out to the show, and thanks for oh, you know some pleasure. of my favorite comics of all time, really. And so, uh, not to blow smoke anywhere, but you know, just got got to, got to mention it at least when you're here. So uh, thanks for coming out. I hope the rest of your con goes well. Ah, I hope so too. Thanks. Okay, thank thanks. You.